Um, Adam Cole is dead. Uh, yeah, I, I'm not massively into steel cage matches and felt um, this kind of... I didn't feel it was a, right, a great climax to this match particularly. Um, the whole match to me felt condensed. It sort of felt like it was going to be this big main event between these two, but then just felt a little... Uh, we kind of got the abridged version, you know? And I think there's... Going into a match like this and I'm watching going, well, Cole is losing because he's either moving up to the main roster and you'll give the win to Kyle or he's just leaving and going elsewhere and therefore they'll give the win to Kyle. So therefore there wasn't really much doubt in my mind Kyle would win, which kind of took away from some of those near falls towards the end. It was, this wasn't bad at all, uh, but I think coming off that last match and then maybe this not for me quite reaching the level of maybe their previous match or some of these epic long feuds we've had in NXT, like, yeah. like the Cole Gargano, the Cole, the Gargano Champa. Um, it was, it was okay. Remember when Gargano and Champa had that crazy feud and then it was supposed to be the blow off. So then Champa got hurt though. So they went to the crazy two out of three falls from Adam Cole and mm. Gargano, which I think is probably one of my favorite matches like ever. And then, they went back to it again, and I kept saying, oh, it should be Hell in the Cell. It should be Gargano, Champa, Hell in the Cell, WrestleMania weekend. But we didn't get it. And then we didn't get it again because of the pandemic. Yeah. This could have been one of those times where if you went to a crowd, you could have done this as a Hell in the Cell. Maybe it would have been a bit more epic. The three stages of – sorry, it's not even that. It's the two out of three falls. Even the Adam Cole, Gargano, three out of, two out of three falls was kind of weak. I, f- I feel all the third parts have been a little weak Yeah. in, in these epic NXT feuds we've had. Uh, I wasn't big on the Toronto Gargano Cole one. It was fun, yeah. but we've seen better quality. And I, and I do feel that like the third fall was just a little underwhelming. I thought, I thought this match was a little underwhelming. Maybe I wish maybe they had more time. Maybe it's something, something felt a little off. And now, of course, with everyone saying what we've been thinking the past few mm. weeks on Up Next is, is Adam Cole all elite? Is this his goodbye? Did, is this him going out? Maybe. Because maybe that's why it's a little off. Maybe that's... I, I, I do think there is that air and the fact the uh, look so the crowd here afterwards were chanting bullshit they were chanting bullshit and stuff like that and I wouldn't go that far at all like this isn't a bad match I enjoyed the match yeah but it it does kind of give you that sense of that something in the air where this guy might be going and people aren't maybe the crowd here aren't happy about it or just didn't feel the match really hit that peak hmm all I know is uh, I don't use, I don't watch it every week, but I I might be watching, being the elite tomorrow. Mm. Might be I mean I'll watch. So the that. Bucks changed their bio, right? They changed the bio to the Seance of Adam Cole, which is one of their old videos. Yes. Very interesting. And Very uh, interesting. Adam Cole's merch is uh, looking a little cheaper right now. Yeah, it's interesting. Shop. WWE Shop, uh, all the Adam Cole merch just d- just dropped in price. Or is that because he's going to be getting main roster merch rather than the NXT stuff? Who knows? I really don't want to see him in WWE more. I've said on this show, Adam Cole in All Elite Wrestling is the, more perfect than a lot of the other people who are in mm. All Elite Wrestling because he's got the history with these guys. They were making towns on these indies. Those Ring of Honor stuff, they were killing it, in my opinion. And now, if he is going to All Elite, they, you already got... CM Punk just showed up. Everyone, we're going to be watching anyways. He could even chill for a few months and want, make people wonder where he is. And then show up because there's. There- I think that would be better. Like that's yeah. my that's my worry with not worry, but I just think there's a lot going on. Yeah. And I think if he is maybe going to AEW. Yeah. Don't get lost in this whole Daniel Bryan, CM Punk, Malachi Black thing. Like, right. Give it a few months and then have him come. Yeah. At right at the right time. There's so much. There's so much story you could do with him and the elites, him and the Bucks, Kenny in the, involved. Like anything, any of those. You could have Adam versus Adam, the battle of who gets to keep the name Adam, mm-hmm. Hangman Page and Adam Cole. There's so many things you could do, and I definitely am super excited if that is the case. Of course, we could be watching Raw and he shows up, so like, like we could be eating these words, but uh, I just the fan in me wants to see that. It, it's very interesting wherever he goes, because we, we know the reports are there that he's been turning down a lot of offers from WWE. Yeah. So if he does stay, what kind of things that they promised him and are mm. we going to see it come into fruition yeah 
Well, he headlines Saudi Arabia against Bill Goldberg. Who knows? Right, like there's so and much the more fun thing. Don't you want to hang yeah. out with your friends and your wife? <laughs> Wouldn't that be way more fun? He called out, doing Brit's move in the match means you're going. That's what I think. I don't know. I work in a bar and I have a lot of people come in kind of escaping their wives. I don't know why in wrestling it's the only <laughs> place where people seem to want to work with their wives. Yeah, don't you know the Miro, Mirk Miro story? Yeah. Yeah, uh, maybe he's onto something. Maybe. <laughs> Always work with your wife in the industry. <laughs> I, I didn't think this was a bad match by any means, but uh, I'm happy Kyle gets the win. That means cool Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly, can go on to face anyone, really. He could get the title from Joe. He could face someone down the line. I think Kyle should stay in NXT and have this like title storyline that leads up to maybe Mania season. I, I think this is what it... We, we often talk about these unofficial number one contender yeah, matches or yeah. takeovers. This definitely felt like that, and I think that's the right direction to go. Even if the last shot of this match was... Kyle standing in the ring but people chanting bullshit because they didn't really feel like that match was up to their standards